Hello, and welcome back to Jade Empire. More specifically, welcome back to the Lotus Assassin Fortress. We went and left it a little bit. Now, we have two things to do. We have to go to the Golem Press Room, press the Golem. And we have to train some Acolytes. I believe this is what the quest this person has for us is. Um, who am I supposed to train? Uh, alright. So, maybe we're meant to train these guys over here. We already did that stuff. I think it was Kitan we were meant to train. Yeah, hello. So, you are the new trainer. You think you have something to show us? Master Shin has us test each of Gong's trainers to make sure they're skilled. Okay. But not too skilled. <laughs> Am I your next student? I assure you, I am more than capable of defending myself. I was made an attendant because of my skills. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. You better be competent. If not, you might have an accident. Is that so? I would be more concerned about yourself if I were you. Let's move this fight to the Hall of Induction so I have room to enjoy this. Okay. Let's move the fight to the Hall of Induction so that we don't have to create a new arena for fighting in. Also, why am I allowed to use Silk Fox? This seems incredibly unfair even by Lotus Assassin standards. Yeah, it only takes us three hits to kill, well, four hits to kill a Lotus Assassin. That's, um, that, that, that's definitely not what it used to be. Oh, we should also heal. I had to fight a ghost on the way here. That didn't do it? Right, let me click in the spirit font. Yeah, wait till the lightning, lightning appears and then we can run away. Cool. Right, down the stairs. Down the stairs, more. Cool, cool. Right. Hello, attendants. Uh, your, fe your fellow person didn't make it back. Also, can we get through now? Oh, cannot be opened. Go. Cool. You, you killed Kitan. The life of an acolyte is forfeit when they walk into this place, yes. But for one of Gong's ragged minions to do this is unforgivable. Mm-hmm. Do you think you can make such an insult and disguise it as a simple training mishap? You are a fool. If you are ready, trainer, your next student is waiting. It is my task to make examples of Gong's acolytes who show too much promise. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm ready. Come, let's see how skilled you are. My skills are above question. Gong is about to lose another of his pitiful acolytes. Come, let's move to the hall, and I will end this. Sure you will, but it's two versus one, and I can stun you, and you can't stun me. So I think we're going to see who's going to win it. Storm Dragon. Storm Dragon. Yeah, we'll kill him in like two combos. Yeah, exact, exactly two combos. That was fairly easy. You killed Kai Fane? But he was fully trained. Such insolence will not go unpunished. We'll make an example of you soon enough. Your corpse will be dragged before your master. Okay. But Kai Fang was a full assassin. How could he have fallen? Shut up. This fool will pay. Mm -hmm. You'll see. You'll regret this. Will I? I don't think I will. Although, they almost threatened me like two on one, which is by far the most threatening they've ever been. I don't understand why they fight me one at a time. It just doesn't make sense. It's like... You have the ability to permanently stun us. We shall fight you one at a time. Hello. What's happening here? Lotus Acolyte of Gong, we must make an example of you. You have insulted the attendants of Master Shin's entourage. Okay. The Masters do not care whether Acolytes live or die, so it is up to us to avenge the deaths of our fellows. Okay. We will not appear weak. We are the attendants of Master Shin. You will die as penance for your insult. Okay. Um. We could ask Master Gang or tra Acolyte Trainer Guang to help me, but actually, no. 
Numbers mean nothing, attendants. So I will destroy you all. Your death will be an example to all of Gong's fools. Yes. Storm Dragon. Storm Dragon. Lightning everywhere. Switch into Longsword. Then we just start killing. Yeah. Perfect. Feels very good. Hello, Gong. That was an impressive display, Acolyte. I've never seen Shin's attendants so handily dismissed. Master Shin's enemies are probably very impressed with your actions. I can only speculate, of course. Of course. I do not like how he hides behind us, a coward in commander's robes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, well, off to the golem press room. Yes, yeah, a very nice room it is indeed. Yeah, we could drop that on his head. I could see that happening. Someone else already tried. Oh, okay. Be careful, fool. One distraction and I could have been crushed. When the Jade Golem is done, have a normal Spirit Shard made and replace the Clay Golem. The ranks must be full when the Jade Golem is activated. My own demons distract me in this place. But I hold no love for your new master or the master above him. If you kill one, why not two? Distractions are the key to weakness in a target. If you look to the future, Master Gong will have his plans come crashing down on him. Go away, Zhu. Uh, where's Mr. Shin? Machine is massive. Who knew the assassins were constructing it in my father's tomb? You did. You saw the Golem army. Uh, anyway, uh, Jade Empire Bestiary, Volume Two: A Thought on Golems. Until recently, very little was known about golems. F those few people skilled enough to craft golems kept their secrets carefully. Powerful and deadly foes, golems are feared throughout the Empire. Though their workings remain a mystery, there are several useful characteristics worth noting about these formidable uh, opponents. These man-made beasts are immune to most types of magic. Their solid exteriors are best attacked with an equally strong force. Weapons and strength are the best ways to deal with these dangerous adverse adversaries. And, best thing, that is all five of the best ways, I think. So we get a technique. There must be six. Really? Really? Trap sprung? Okay. We got the uh, Greater Warrior's Gem of Fate. There's the controls. Let's go talk to Master Shin. Hello, Master Shin, you up here? Master Shin. Oh, he was standing, like, right up there. I don't know what went wrong there. Or what? Is this him who was standing up there? No, it's a different person. So, you are the new Lotus Acolyte under Master Gong. No one else has reason to be here. He was quick to favor you. New recruits are typically held in isolation. I will instruct you on the use of the Golem Present Crane. Forming the Golems is an honored task that elevates us above slaves and mere servants. Press is simple to use. Using this machine, we can create a legion of warrior golems in a day. Okay. Death's hand has great power. We need proof of this from the inner chambers. Hmm. If we're able to create that many golems, why haven't we? This is only one step. Here we create husks devoid of energy. Each golem needs a spirit shard to move, and a jade golem must guide them all. For each shard, a spirit must be reduced to its essence. For a time, we used those that lingered near their graves, mining them as if they were silver. No longer. The recently dead make a stronger, more obedient golem, if the death is painful. With a jade golem guiding them, legions act as one, utterly obedient. Okay. The extraction chamber is a far more interesting place to work. The screams over there are music. Here we have only the creaking of clay. Hmm. 
The machine looks dangerous. Have accidents claimed any lives? You nearly saw one as you entered, but they are rare. Falling victim to an obvious danger like a dropped golem or worth the press would take a monumental fool. The machines are loud and you can see the operator from anywhere in the room. A past victim of the press suffered more damage after the incident than during it. Reputations are very important in the Lotus Assassin Order. Falling victim to the press would cause a loss in status almost fatal in and of itself. Okay. Uh, tell me about the crane and press. The press is simple to operate. You select the type of body at the first station. Once the material is poured, it is funneled to the press. The press serves as a mold and a kiln. In short order, it can be opened and the new body is ready to be moved. The crane controls are at the end of the ramp. You can experiment with each station if you want, but you may as well reduce what you produce to rubble. There are no shards to power any more golems for now. I have one. Um, What things do we have? Different golems? Let's, I don't care. Right. So, golem press. Let's use it. It's locked on clay golem. There's an opening inside that looks like it accepts clay containers of some kind. Other than that, it seems quite simple. Make a clay golem. I have made it. Okay. Now, let's go have a look at the golem. Let's see what we're going to do with it. Um... Hello, golem? Nothing. Okay. Um... Right. Let's just go up there and uh, see what we got. Click on it again. Um... Well, we already have a clay golem. Then we go crane operation. Retrieve the golem from the press. Move with the crane right. Um, I did. I noticed there's already a golem there. Leave the machine. Cool. Let's go and see what we've got going on in here. Maybe we have to convince somebody to come in and stand underneath it. Focus the acolyte. You look like Master Shin. Hello? Nope. Lotus Assassin. Door I cannot open. Maybe we have to speak to Gang? Hello, Gang? So you were done with the extractor. The inner chambers are not usually accessible to acolytes, but you have proven oh, a valuable never mind. ally. You will take some facts the Lotus Assassins. Um, I have the spirit shard for the jade golem. Yes, I am aware. When you have finished your other task for me, I will let you present it in the inner sanctum of the fortress. That will be a great honor for a lotus acolyte. You may even meet Grand Inquisitor Gia. Um, Master Shin would be disgraced if he is killed by the golem press. Hmm, an interesting idea. It has happened before, and the victim was certainly considered a fool for letting it occur. But it's impossible. You may as well try and drop one of the golems on him. He would never be so distracted as to enter the press. We are Lotus assassins, after all. Hmm. He could meet his end elsewhere. Something could be arranged. A possibility. But Shin does not leave the inner chambers often, only to inspect the new slave shipments arriving in the Hall of Induction. You would have to close a great many eyes to get away with an assassination in the hall and moving the body to the press, but it would certainly send a message. The hall cleared of all witnesses, the press operator distracted, and the slave shipment stopped outside in the necropolis before it arrives. A daunting list of tasks. Do it quietly, but use force where you must. Succeed and I will introduce you to Grand Inquisitor Gia in the inner chambers. A rare honor for an acolyte. Okay. Uh, any questions I want to do here? Uh, no. I don't care. Right, so presumably I have to drop the golem in here for some reason. Or in some way break this golem press. Can I do that? Like, um... 
Drop golem. Yeah, that was fun. What? What do you want? Uh, da, da, da. I need to relieve you of your post. You must leave the room. Is that so? Why should I step aside for a new blood acolyte? I have my own position to think about, and I will not be so easily replaced. Okay. If you bring an order from Master Gang, I will relent, as he is my master too. Until then, I am not moving. Um, your position depends on Master Gangs. If I can, if I raise him, I can raise him if there are no prying eyes. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that. I see. The ways of the Order are mysterious and brutal. If an opening is created away from witnesses, all of us under him will benefit. I understand. I will tend to the golems that are being readied for the Jade Golem's command. I do not think I will be able to return to this room today. Okay. But a thought occurs to me. If one opening raises us all, two openings will raise us further. If something were to befall the good master, just something you might want to ponder. I'm pondering away. Okay. Make a clay golem. We don't need to watch the cutscene again, but apparently we will. I'm just going to pick it up and put it in place, so. R retrieve the golem. Yep, okay. Seems about right. Move it over. Then we're going to leave the machine. Cool. That should be about right. That all looks about right. Let's go and see what we got. Who we got to speak to. So I don't think Gang has anything new for us. Uh, you have anything new? Yes, acolyte. Why? Uh, press operator has been convinced to leave the station. To succeed, everything must be in place. The hall cleared of all witnesses. The press operator distracted, and the slave shipment stopped outside in the necropolis. When all three of these are completed. Shin will be vulnerable. Killing him in the hall and transporting him to the press was a very good idea. If you manage to do it, I will let you present the spirit shard for the Jade Golem to Grand Inquisitor Gia in the inner chambers yourself. A rare honor for an acolyte. Okay. Do you have anything? I marvel at your ability. You show no fear of the enemies you make. You will do well here. You have no more acolytes to train for now. Is there anything else you need? Um. Mm, we'll see if she's got anything new. She does not have anything new. Cool. So she does the shop. Right. Now we have to clear the hall. Let's uh, quick save right now so we don't have to redo any of that. Okay. Clear the hall. Stop the slave shipment. Got it. Um, nothing in here, no one over there. Heal up. Right, hello people. What do you want now, Acolyte? Unless the press is damaged, you have no reason to speak with us. Mm, what could cause a machine as sophisticated as the press to break down? You are right to marvel at its stability. It is a machine in balance. Only errors of its operators have damaged it before. Several foolish acolytes were killed for damaging it. It's not so hard to use properly. All you do is work the crane and occasionally add phoenix oil to the material selector. The measure of oil has been wrong too often. Kia Jong gives it out too freely. I will see to it that your kind are only given pre-measured containers of it. Okay. Uh, what is phoenix oil? Where does it come from? Gong needs to better train his acolytes. You were obviously rushed through the initiation process. Phoenix oil is a viscous liquid that burns at an incredible temperature. It heats the press to cure the golem husks. Good, good. If there's too much in the machine, it burns too hot. Too little and the golems crumble. 
The merchant brings the oil from the craftsman of the Golden Delta. Okay. Merchant. Hello. Ah, you again. What can I do for you? Because you're a rare assassin of your own calling, Merchant Kiajong yeah, stands ready to serve. Do you have Phoenix all? Uh, yeah, I can't reserve for that. They must have you running the press. I suppose you need more? I'm not surprised. The machine runs all day and all night. Here, take this clay pot, but be careful. This stuff burns much hotter than any other kind of oil. Is there anything else you need? I need this hall cleared. Move to another room. Now, why would you do that? Moving my wares is a noisy, heavy task, and I do as little as possible to disrupt the workings of this place. I'm fine where I am, so leave me be. Perhaps I could persuade you to move. I don't see how. It's just a friendly request from somebody who wants you to stay safe. I see. So things might be getting complicated around here. Hmm. I can see the benefit of being flexible in such situations. Circumstances. I'll move my wares down to the central chambers. If anyone asks, I'll say it's because my wares require the chill of the inner rooms. Even my old joints find them a bit taxing. Very well. Come see me in the central chambers if you want to purchase anything. We got some phoenix oil. Ooh, can we open this? Yeah, steal his money. Right, so let's go break the uh, golem press. Right. Takes a little bit for the door to open. It's like it, I think it might be loading some. Like I think it loads the rest of this behind that door. That's why we have this corridor section at all. Hmm, maybe. Right, over here. Over here. Right. And all the way up. Hello. Um, I want to insert the Phoenix Oil container. Slides neatly into the machine. It does not take long for a malfunction to occur. The machine shuts down. There's some movement among the golem stored in the wall. The machine may have kept them in stasis awaiting the Jade Golem controller. Do we have to fight them? Yeah. Okay. Yep, this is not good. I don't like the fact that they heal. That just seems straight up annoying. Power attack? Okay. Jump back. Get the focus. We killed it. Right, get the focus. Jump in. Power attack. Oh, I thought it was facing the other way. Right. Got all that we needed there. And we can head up. Open it up. We can then say the press malfunction. They have to go fix the press. Right. Open that. All the way up. Shouldn't have to fight anyone or anything. I don't think so. No real reason to save right now. Right. Heal. Hello. What do you want now, Acolyte? Unless the press is damaged, you have no reason to speak with us. Uh, the press has malfunctioned. The press has malfunctioned. Someone used too much Phoenix oil. What? Which one of you idiots threw off the mixture? Ugh, it doesn't matter. Three days calibrating it for perfect clay husks, and some new blood fool ruins it in an instant. The supports for the mold injectors will be charred. We'll have to find a smith to forge new ones. Ugh, what a mess. Uh, will you require assistance? I don't want any of you stunted acolytes touching them. In fact, I will request that only full-fledged assassins operate the machine from now on. Okay. So much wasted work. If we don't get it fixed, Geo will have us slaughtered. I know, I know. We need to go to the market district and find a smith. Come on, we're wasting time. They are gone. Let's have a little quick save and let's speak to the last people in the room. They're all the way over here. Hello. Ah, are you the student I am waiting for? I can't delay any longer. I cannot miss the window of opportunity for a summoning. Oh. As I was saying, Golems are playthings, devoid of cunning. 
The latest stockpile stands idle, waiting for a jade golem to make them useful. A waste. Mm -hmm. I will show Grand Inquisitor Gia that tapping the spirit realm for servants is more efficient. Witness as I effortlessly summon an able minion from the void. Uh huh. What preparations have you made? There are hardly any preparations needed, Acolyte. They want to serve. They tell me so. Golems want nothing. Watch and learn. Ukir sitaka wuwir, wosayir yuf praun. So he turns two lost assassins. No, no. Oh, this is it. Destroy them. Our tusks. Uh, okay. Well, that's interesting. Okay. You, you saw nothing of this. Nothing. I, I have to continue my research before Gia knows of my failure. Oh, I know it can work. Mhm. Mm yeah, you keep, you keep at it. So that's the room cleared of acolytes. Let's quickly save. Uh, I think we're gonna grab the. Focus shrine is up here. Yep, just on the way past. And then we're going to go see about the sh uh, slave shipment. Hopefully we can just charm the hell out of them. Uh, do we need to get the Watcher to go away? Presumably we don't. He's, he's a little bit further out, but we'll see. Watcher. Hello. What? Nope. Cool. And to the Necropolis. If I remember right, they just walk down this path as you get there, so that works. Or like they're in the corner? Yeah. You there! Stand aside or risk the ire of the Lotus Assassins. These prisoners must be delivered to the fortress to be inspected by Master Shin. I will not allow you to make me late. Don't you recognize one of your own? Stand down. I don't know your face. You don't even bear our markings. State your intent before I end this encounter. And your life. Hmm. Uh. I'm an acolyte. These slaves are substandard. Kill them and get more. You seriously contemplate this? A mere acolyte questions the quality of my work? I am not laughing, child. Why should I allow this? Just a friendly gesture to save the order the loss of a fine agent. Hmm. They are not the best I have encountered. And Master Shin did say he needed good quality slaves for a special project. Bah! I can't take the risk of earning his displeasure. You are right to warn me, Acolyte. Help me dispose of these worthless sacks. Of course. Ready, you lot? The good acolyte says you are so worthless you should die. I say, I agree. Defend yourselves so your deaths are at least entertaining. Ah, heavens help us! A fine Ooh. slaughter, even if there was no challenge. I will return to our agents in the city and demand fodder of better quality. If they don't deliver, perhaps I will enlist their assistance more directly. You have inspired me, Acolyte. You will make a fine assassin. Good. I think we've done... Demands sacrifice. I like you, Silk Fox. You understand what needs to be done needs to be done. I think that we, we did some good there. Of course, we were doing it in the... I was doing it in the pursuit of evil, but you can believe what you want. Right. Let's go through the pagoda door. Sorry. Not evil... Closed fist. Also, closed door on uh, Silk Fox, so she's stuck outside. I uh, love how you wait for the stairs to go down before the Enter the Lotus Asa Assassin Fortress thing actually works. Okay. Oh, it saved for me. That's worrying. Alright. I guess uh, if we go down here... 
We'll see that everything is in place then. Hello? Anybody here? We got all the clay golems, but apart from that, no, nothing. There we go. What is going on here? Where are my slaves? The golems require spirit shards. Mm -hmm. And where are my attendants? Delays and laziness will be repaid in blood. No one disobeys the orders of Shen. Oh, I have to click continue. Um, I regret there'll be no slaves delivered today, Shen. You? You are Gang's new acolyte. I see what is happening here. You think to promote your master by threatening me. You are bold, but foolish. You thought to make me vulnerable by killing my attendants and emptying the hall? A miscalculation. I am a favorite of Grand Inquisitor Gia. You will die. Longsword. Oh, okay. I was hoping I could maybe work with them, but I guess not. He's trying to use my b new ability against me. No. We'll keep you shocked. For as long as possible. Love, we're CC'd as is he. Longsword. Storm Dragon. Yep. At half health? What happens? The golems activate. Oh, I see. And he healed to full health. Alright, he's down. Let's uh, get this one. Cool, we leveled up. Body in the press. Blow it up. Can we drop the thing on tragedy them? has reached my ears. Our respected Master Shin has met his end in a rather embarrassing fashion. Mm -hmm. I came quickly after hearing of his stumble. Perhaps it was the cold of the sanctum that made him careless and dulled his senses. Open the press. How unfortunate. I will make certain he's dead, but not from too close. I don't want to share his tragically foolish fate. Yes, quite dead. How unfortunate. We should honor our fallen comrade, but I am distracted by thoughts of who will take his place. I think the choice is obvious. Um, oh, because I used the Phoenix Oil, I can't do this. Oh, I could drop this. Let me just wait. And drop. Oh. Oh, that was good. Right. We've got our journal entry. And we leveled up. I think it's time. More body points. Uh, 20 style points. What are we using? We're using Tempest? Not really. We're using Storm Dragon a lot. Dragon Sword, we lose use a fair amount. Do we have max damage on that? We do. Uh, Legendary Strike, we use a lot for our basic attack. We increase its speed a little bit more. Yep. Save changes, Storm Dragon. I guess we don't need its duration up, we just need it to attack quicker. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. That seems alright. It's not too bad. Right. Golem Press Room. Quick. Oh, I was going to save, but I guess we'll uh, speak to Zoo. You are nearing your goal. Grand Inquisitor Gia keeps many secrets in the inner chambers. Enough to appease the princess and earn your way to the palace. But you may learn more than she wants to know. I know that I did. Many years ago. Zoo, this better be important to interrupt now. You know that Master Lee tried to stop his brother and failed. I was not there to witness that, 
so I only have the details that you are aware of yourself. Hui in Tian's Landing told you that in response to that act, Master Li's wife was condemned to death. She was with child at the time. This I know for certain. I was there. I was one of the elite ordered to kill Master Li's family. You throw these accusations at your Shock. superiors and my father, Horror. but we have no reason to believe you. Mm, what does this matter? What's the point of this? It shows the depths to which even principled men will sink if the order comes from high enough. If you don't want to listen, fine. I will keep my secrets. You could tell I need us. a simple warning. If your enemy begins to look familiar, it's not because they are changing. It took me a long time to learn that. I have little use for morals, but honor? I have seen what you will face. Seen his power. I ran once. I hope for your sake you have not shaken my resolve. Okay, the game has saved. I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. Next time, we're going to see Grand Inquisitor Gia. See you then.